What's going on guys? So I didn't actually realize at just how much EOS was exploding. There are some decentralized applications, some dApps on the EOS network that are absolutely exploding in users and transaction volumes. Really quite surprising. So I've done some research, I've looked into it and we're gonna talk about that today. If you're a big EOS fan, this video is for you. If you wanna learn more about what decentralized applications are being used on EOS, this video is for you if you just want to know more about what is happening on EOS. I mean, what, what are the trends? What, what is being built on EOS? Then this video is for you as well. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So what we have in front of us here is a report, a really good report done by DAP.com, D-A-P-P.com. And uh, it's a 2018 DAP market report that analyzes the major blockchains uh, and their decentralized applications and gives you like a really nice overview on what's actually happening, what's happening in that particular blockchain's ecosystem. What are the DAPs being built? You know, who who is actually using them? What are the transaction volumes? How much money is passing through the smart contracts? Very, very interesting stuff. Now, they've got uh, the, the, the blockchains that this report analyzes is Ethereum, EOS, and Tron. Surprised that Neo wasn't on there. Um, I suspect Neo just doesn't have enough dApps for them to, or enough users on the dApps for them to bother uh, writing the report. But that was that interests me, actually, that Tron came after Neo uh, and got a mention, but Neo did not. Anyway, by the by, this video is about EOS, so let's talk about uh, what what they came up with for EOS. Now, this actually quite surprised me. So, this chart here shows the EOS price and the transaction volume. So we can see um, we can see obviously the EOS price has come down along with everything else in the entire cryptocurrency market during 2018. And then the green line is the transaction volume. Now, what what is interesting here is they've marked some some significant events during 2018 that occurred uh, with EOS. So on, <clears throat> excuse me, on June the 9th, the EOS mainnet was launched. Now this this is quite interesting as well that EOS has managed to um, build such an ecosystem in such a short amount of time. I, I must say, um, I'm quite impressed by that. I'm quite impressed by how many people are actually using EOS. It's obviously fulfilling a use case, it's fulfilling a need, and people are using it and people are building on it. And they've done this in a very short amount of time, so that's, that's quite significant. So on June the 27th, we had Monster EOS, uh, the first EOS-based blockchain game was launched. Then on September the 14th, EOS Bet got hacked, so 200,000 was stolen out of a smart contract. Uh, September the 15th, top five betting dApps, <coughs> excuse me again, on EOS performed transaction vol um, value of 1.5 million EOS within 24 hours. Uh, that's incredible. $8.3 million within 24 hours. Absolutely incredible. Uh, October the 15th, EOS Bet got hacked again. Ouch. This time for $338,000. Then November the 17th, the number of uh, EOS mainnet account had reached 500,000. And then here's one I want to explore a little bit further, which I, which I think is really cool. So on November the 18th, Mythical Games raises $16 million for EOS-based blockchain game development. So these guys here, Mythical Games, this is a, a gaming studio that um, that has been built around, uh, that has been um, formed around building games on EOS. Now, it doesn't say this say it here now, but it did. It actually did say here at one point because I looked into these guys quite a while ago uh, that they specifically would be building games on EOS. So they've already got one game out. You can see some of their um, investors. You know they got investments from OKCoin and Fambushi Capital, so that's that's quite significant. And they've got this one game coming out here called Blankos. Now these guys again, like I said, were specifically they they had said on their website that they were specifically building games on EOS. So I mean that that actually says a lot for a venture studio to um, to see the potential in one particular blockchain to um, to launch their company uh, specifically around building games on EOS. So that's I think that's very positive. Um, that's very positive, obviously, for EOS as a use case. Now, when we come down here, this is the... Let's, let's actually get into the meat of it um, in terms of the DAP summary. So first of all, first of all, we'll come back to that. Let's just have a look at some of the rankings on what's going on. So we're over here on, on dapradar.com. Uh, again, guys, like in all of my videos, every single website I look at uh, during these videos, there are links down in the description that you can go and check them out yourself. So dapradar.com, it tells us live statistics on what's going on. This is the amazing thing about blockchain, so we can see everything that's going on. 
and uh, these are the top these are the top apps. So if we just um, if we sort by users, we can see that uh, there are quite a lot of people using EOS or using EOS decentralized applications. This is another thing that that surprised me is uh, compared to Ethereum, these guys are really starting to get users. So this PRA candy box, I'm not sure exactly what this is. You know, you got eight eight thousand eight hundred users. EOS Knights five thousand. This EM Bank. Four and a half, eight, uh, 4,800. EOS about 2,800. This is where you start getting into gambling. So EOS at the moment is like 95% plus just gambling right now. Um, <laughs> so you're starting to see, you know, industries being built around certain protocols that suit them. And I actually said that probably over a year ago, that over time uh, there, there would be many protocols and certain protocols would fulfill certain needs in certain industries. And so you might find, you know, uh, logistics might go towards one particular blockchain you might find gaming goes towards one particular blockchain finance goes to another blockchain that you would actually have certain blockchains would fulfill and fill fulfill needs in certain industries um like i said i said that ages ago so that's just what i thought and then uh, interoperability will come in the future that'll tie all these blockchains together so when we look at um when we look at Ethereum, for example, these are the dApps on Ethereum. You can see that uh, these are the top users. So, I mean, the highest we're getting right now in the past 20, 24 hours in terms of users is IDEX with 528. And then it just dwindles off really, really quick um, from there. So, EOS is absolutely killing Ethereum in terms of users, absolutely smashing it in terms of people actually using these dApps. And, and, that's, and, and what we need to consider as well is EOS has not been around anywhere near as long as, as Ethereum. Um, yet he's getting a lot of users. So I find that interesting. I, I don't know how reliable these numbers are, but look, even if we just say, you know, plus or minus 20% um, reliability factor, you, you're, still, you're still talking numbers that's well above Ethereum. So then when we look at, uh, let's look at the transaction volume. So I don't particularly want to look at the money passing through it because, you know, that, that to me isn't a really reliable statistic because you could have a couple of people that are putting a lot of money through these uh, through these games and that, there's just, that's, that doesn't really tell us that much. But what is reliable, I think, is the transaction volume. And I know that uh, EOS performs a lot more transactions per block than Ethereum does at the moment, which is another indicator that Ethereum uh, really needs to ramp up scaling. Uh, but I still think it gives us a good indicator. So if we go to transaction volume, over seven uh, seven days here, we have this. Di this is where where the gambling side of EOS really starts to show. So you have a look here in the top sort of ten to twenty D apps. Most of them are gambling. So this dice game did three and a half million transactions in the past seven days. Then you have another gambling app, Poker EOS, two point three million. Then another gambling app, Endless Game, one point nine million. And then there's EOS Knights, which is which is being categorised as a game, but it could actually have some gambling aspects aspects to it as well. 1.6 million and then the list goes on and on so you can see a significant amount of volume is happening mostly with gambling applications so gambling apps are absolutely dominating eos at the moment it could change in the future we don't really know but at the moment they're absolutely dominating eos so when we have a look at um here's a chart that shows it's a linear chart that shows a transaction volume of EOS versus Ethereum. Now, I've done it over a seven-day average just to smooth out the chart a little bit, uh, just to give you some um, some perspective. So this is over a year. So we can see Ethereum here is the uh, is kind of the purpley pink line. We can see it's been pretty stable. There was a peak at the very beginning of 2018, but that's just been cut off, and then it stayed fairly steady over since. But you can see EOS has just absolutely exploded. Had a massive dip here. I'd be interested to know why that is because um, it is quite significant. I, I couldn't tell you right now, but I'd be interested to know what caused that. But then even towards the later part of, uh, of 2018 going into 2019, I mean, we are seeing just massive, um, massive volume on EOS. I mean, look at EOS just here. We've got 5.5 million compared to Ethereum at 516,000. Now, again, you know, w what exactly these transactions are doing, uh, what's involved, what's the, uh, I guess, what's the Im importance of the trend of these transactions um you know is another question but the report does tell us a bit more here when we come back to uh this dap report so the eos annual dap summary for 2018 so they've got, had 171,000 active users user distribution 67 percent on betting uh 12 on decentralized exchanges 10 percent on finance five percent on games three percent on others blah 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 now here's the interesting part right transaction distribution 97 percent on betting <laughs> 97 percent one percent on games one percent on decentralized applications and one percent on others and here's where you really need to know the data behind um 
what is going on to give you an accurate picture so you don't just take transaction volume as success or you don't take transaction volume oh you know uh, the network is absolutely exploding you know good times ahead blah 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 you really need to know what what is going on at a more granular detail so when we come back in we can see this massive amount of transaction volume 97 percent of that is happening right now with betting apps now, in saying that, that's not so much a bad thing. The blockchain is still being used. Smart contracts are being executed. People are sending uh, Ethereum. But again, it's important to know that 97% are on betting applications. So then when you come to volume distribution in terms of the amount of EOS uh, essentially running through smart contracts, again, 75% on betting, 12% on finance, 11% on decentralized applications, 2% on others. So clearly at the moment, at the moment, EOS is finding a use case for gambling. Now I'd say what the reason behind that is because EOS is very fast. Uh, it can handle a lot of transactions per block. Um, and that is that makes sense for a lot of these gambling uh, type of websites that have a bunch of different games and they need a fast snappy blockchain to execute so they're not so much concerned um, probably with the other metrics but as long as it's secure um, smart contracts can can execute quickly and the blockchain is fast enough to give them that um, to give them that fast snappy end user experience that that is what it is all about so again when we come back to uh, to come back to ethereum when we look at uh, let's just have a look at the transactions over seven days we've got actually quite a lot of gambling for ethereum as well we've got this dice to win but then we've got exchanges games some more gambling uh, exchanges games exchanges games 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 so uh, ethereum is much more spread in terms of the applications that are seeing volume on it but either way i think it's a, a pretty positive thing to see that that eos is attracting uh, applications that applications are being used that it's seeing such a significant amount of users that again has really surprised me five and a half thousand people I know relative to traditional applications that is nothing but we're talking brand new blockchain technology we're talking a network that's only been around for several months um, you know we're talking uh, still a very fringe industry cryptocurrencies and blockchain is still very fringe uh, in terms of um, the general public's awareness of what this technology can actually do. So either way, really, really interesting stuff. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that overview on EOS. Again, pretty interesting stuff. i uh, pretty surprised myself in how much it's actually being used, but a, but a positive thing for the entire industry to see the blockchains are being used. So again, I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure to give us a like. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to jump on board and subscribe. Leave me a comment, tell me what you thought, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers.